The recovery from Hurricane Ian will take months as it's on pace to become Florida's most expensive natural disaster. Still this weekend, hundreds of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are doing their part to start that process. Yeah, we sent news specialist Mike Anderson to Fort Myers where church members are delaying their conference weekend to help those neighbors in need. Mike? There's just so much damage out here, guys. This here is just a small example of what we've been seeing throughout the day. You know, I myself lived in Florida for about five years previously, but never saw a major hurricane. But church members out here say the call for them to help is becoming more and more frequent in recent years. If there's one thing that brings Floridians together. Everybody that experiences a hurricane has some form of PTSD. Maybe the frightening moments they may have shared, the storms powerful enough to wash yachts onto streets. It's like there's a train driving through your family room. It's the loudest noise and you're just hoping that your roof stays on. Though it's more likely in how they all get through it. I, my car's full. Brad Westover is leading a team of volunteers from this building for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As horrible as, as natural disasters are, you see the best of humanity. Where through chainsaws, through patched up rooftops, they go into neighborhoods where people like Mike Titus I was here. share that experience. Stood right there by that garage door. <laughs> and I seen washers and dryers going 30 and 40 miles, I mean feet to air, just like they paper. But less the trauma, more the part where people help each other. So we're gonna fire up the smoker, and feed everybody in here for free. And that's one thing. Everybody. We all can understand. While church member volunteers are out by the hundreds today, they'll be out in the thousands in the weeks to come as many of the hardest hit areas are opened up, many of them driving a dozen or more hours from home to do it. When we're together, we're all in this together. And when things go down, we go down together and we pull together and we make good things happen. It's the same thing that drives Titus to feed a neighborhood even when his own family is struggling. He says some here haven't eaten for a couple of days. Because that's what God wants me to do. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, what God wants me to do. So, I can't do nothing. Because natural disaster or not, it's that compassion that brings us together. But it's, it's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. And we're seeing a lot of shutdown businesses out here with uh, power outages going on. And uh, Fort Myers Beach is currently closed off to residents as uh, FEMA Search and Rescue does their operations out there. We're going to be tagging along with one of their crews tomorrow, and we'll bring that to you then. For now, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.